This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. Here in the Capitol, police have an adult male in custody after he was allegedly found in possession of an unlicensed firearm on Tuesday. Police say shortly after 2 o'clock p.m., officers from the Drug Enforcement Unit executed a search warrant on a residence on Unison Road. During the search, officers found a black pistol containing five unfired rounds of ammunition. As a result, the adult male was arrested. Investigation into this matter continues. Meantime, a prolific offender and a man and a woman are in police custody over on Grand Bahama as police continue to make significant arrests. Northern Bahamas Division Press Liaison Assistant Superintendent Teresita Pinder in her reporting says that throughout March, officers of the Central Division received numerous reports from persons whose vehicles were broken into and batteries stolen. As a result, the officers led by Superintendent Alvaro Dames mounted an operation that resulted in the arrest of a male known to police. Officers recovered a number of suspected stolen batteries and the suspect is assisting police with the investigation. Meantime, shortly after 12 p.m. on Tuesday, flying squad officers acting on information and armed with a search warrant went to an apartment in Garden Villas on Weddell Avenue where they searched and discovered a quantity of suspected marijuana and cocaine. A male and female, both residents, were arrested. Investigation into this matter continues. For more than 45 minutes on Wednesday morning, the Bahamas Taxi Cab Union members took over the entrance of the Royal Towers at Atlantis Paradise Island today, restricting the amount of taxis that can come into the property. Here's Laurencia Smith with that report. Chaos erupting on Paradise Island this morning as about 40 members of the Bahamas Taxi Cab Union, led by President Wesley Ferguson, blocked the entrance of the Royal Towers at Atlantis due to the mega resort limiting the number of taxis allowed on the property this morning. Here's Mr. Ferguson with more. Atlantis told us that they only want 20 taxis in the lot at a time. 20 taxis cannot service the entire Paradise Island. We told Atlantis we're not getting in the business of hotel and how they deal with their Yes, or we're not getting involved in how they deal with their employees. However, Atlanta's position is they want to control the entire tourist industry. They want to control the taxi industry, they want to control the tourist industry, they want to control the, the, the hotel union. They are in, they're trying to control everything. JCN News team spoke with the Vice President of Hotel Operations at Atlantis, Russell Miller, to get the resort's position on the matter. When asked if he was aware that the taxi drivers are protesting, he said this. I'm not aware of it, but the t six taxis is absolutely incorrect, and the taxi president knows that. Uh, and he and I discussed it the other day when there were 63 taxis in the lot of the Royal Towers. And he and I discussed that, and he agreed that 63 was too many. Um, and uh, it had been suggested to reduce it to 30. Now, he sent me a note saying he was coming over here yesterday and was going to get with me. I never heard from him uh, until I got an email late last night. And then he sent me a note today saying he was coming over, and I haven't seen or heard anything from him. Now, when asked to respond to VP Miller's claims that an agreement was made between the hotel and the union that 63 taxis was a large number and needed to be reduced to 30, Mr. Ferguson says he never agreed to that. However, he says this. I said to him, give me an opportunity. You see what this email says? As promised, I am consulting with the executive team and further, I spent a great deal of time today and yesterday at the Royal and Cove Towers observing and gathering intel from participating taxi drivers. As a result, the fact-finding mission of the fact-finding with the BTCU concluded that we strongly advise against this idea at this time as it will no doubtedly result in a negative impact in the taxi industry and Paradise Island as a whole. Now, some hours after the protest, the president gave an update and said the issue was resolved. However, not before the union members said that they saw the move by the resort as taking bread out of their mouth. I'm Laurencia Smith for Chase CN News. And the Office of the Governor General responding to social media claims that Governor General Sir Cornelius A. Smith is unwell in a statement released yesterday. Sir Cornelius' office says that 
They are aware of the claims which suggest he is unwell. They are assuring the public that the Governor General is in office and enjoying excellent health. You may remember that just last Thursday, Sir Cornelius and his wife, Clara, received their first jab of the COVID-19 vaccine at Loyola Hall. After receiving the vaccine, he remarked that he felt great and would encourage others to also be vaccinated. Sir Cornelius told a local daily yesterday that he is feeling extremely well, adding that he was disappointed that anyone would spread the malicious rumor about his health. You're watching JCN News. Stay with us. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.